Hi everyone, it's me, Tess, and I love hamsters, a fun fact about me. Um, but there's this new line of hamster cages called the Tiny Tails Hamster Cage. Now, a hamster needs at least 450 square inches of floor space, and this cage, along with the others, don't even have 250 um, square inches. And today, we're going to be reviewing this cage and seeing how good it really is. So let's get started. The first thing I noticed about this cage is that it screams like a toy. Like you could walk into a toy store and find this. No adult is going to want to get their hamster a rocket ship cage that lights up because hamsters are nocturnal. They don't need a nightlight. And when you go to the back, there's this little thing down here that you might not even notice. It says, everyone dreams of going to space, and now Dash has the chance. Fire up the rocket and watch it glow, or head to the sleep station for a galactic nap. Will Dash be the first hamster to land on the moon? You're in mission control, and this rocket launches soon. People are going to throw their hamster across the room thinking they're going to send it into space. No, you're just going to have to go back to the pet store to buy a new pet. When I was checking out, they were talking about how I can collect them all and make a little village and how this cage is very popular and it's a great cage for a hamster. <laughs> yeah, collect them all for a billion dollars. Yeah, they're about $60 each, so you can't really buy them unless if you have a few hundred dollars to spend. This cage also says that it's ideal for hamsters, gerbils, and mice. It's not good for any of these since, like I said, it doesn't even have 250 square inches of floor space. And one other thing that I noticed on the back, always select the appropriate size and type of home for your specific pet. Be sure to observe your pet's behavior with a new home. Remove and replace the home if it is damaged. Gradually help your pet to accept the containment. Gradually help your pet to accept the containment. Gradually help your pet to accept the containment. Adult supervision recommended. Not recommended for children under four years of age. Adult assembly required. This is not a toy. It's interesting how they have to actually write this is not a toy on their product to prove that it's not a toy because there is nothing else on here that doesn't say it's a toy. So that's about it. We should open it up now. Anyone's supposed to assemble this. It has a map and a word search and a maze. Is this a kid's menu at a restaurant? Oh, and look, you can meet Dash the hamster. Dash is a born explorer, always eager to try something new. Collect and connect each tiny tail's home to build an exciting world for Dash to, to discover. Well, sorry, Dash, but you aren't going to get all these homes when they're $60 each. There is stickers, too. Nothing screams toy like stickers. So it said adult supervision was recommended, but I couldn't find an adult, so I just got my dad to assemble it for hey. me. It took about a half hour to assemble this, and some of the complaints I've heard online, like the water bottle leaking or the wheel being super noisy, we didn't really have any problems with that, but there are still a lot of problems with this cage. Going back to the water bottle, it's pointed downward, which is not good for a hamster's neck. And the wheel is not big enough for a Syrian hamster. And it can be kind of noisy. Hamsters like to sit on their food, but a Syrian hamster would not be able to do this. And there is not enough space for a good amount of bedding. Hamsters need at least one area of the cage to have five to eight inches of bedding when 
the highest this can go up to is four inches of bedding. And one of the main problems is that there's lights on it. These hamsters are nocturnal and do not need night lights when they're active. Let's add some bedding and put my hamster in this torture chamber. We were able to get bedding in this cage and we did measure it. This just barely doesn't fit five inches of bedding, which is the minimum of what one area of a cage should be. And since we have my little hamster here, Snowflake, in her travel cage, it's time we should put her in here and see how she reacts. She's been monkey barring a tiny bit, or like bar climbing. She does not appear happy at all. In fact, she seems pretty stressed. She does not enjoy going through the tubes at all. They're either too steep or they turn around too much, which is not something hamsters like to do. She does not seem to enjoy the cage at all. She has been jumping off of edges and climbing the bars, which shows that she's bored. You really can't fit any toys in here, which I think is a problem. Snowflake does not seem very happy in this cage. Um, there was no room for toys, and even though there was just enough bedding for her to burrow in, she did not seem to want to do that. The tubes were not very useful. She couldn't go in them because she was too scared. They were too steep and turned too much, which is something hamsters do not like to do. It's been about a half hour since she's been in the cage, and I thought she would calm down at least a little bit, but she's still pretty much the same. I eventually decided to put her up at the top or the sleeping station thinking that she could get some rest in the bedding but she did not enjoy being that high up. I'm going to take her out of it and put her back in in her normal cage which is much bigger than this. I need to act natural. Act natural snowflake. So that's my review of the Tiny Tails hamster cage. I don't think it is a good cage for any animal at all. If you have this cage, PetSmart will return it within 60 days of the receipt. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.